officer, he can sit his butt in jail for years after years after years. A Sellersburg man learns his fate for taking advantage of people during their times of grief. Good evening to you. I'm Rick Van Hoos. Robert Kraft will not avoid prison for scamming Kentucky families out of money that they paid for funeral and burial needs. Today, some of those victims confronted him in court before the judge handed down his sentence. WLKY's Marissa Alter is live outside the Judicial Center with more on this very emotional hearing that took place. Marissa? Rick, Robert Kraft got five years in prison and must pay back about $36,000 to the victims. His attorney wanted probation in part so he'd be able to do that. He told the judge this case wasn't about emotions, but there were certainly plenty of those in the courtroom. My parents made arrangements with you for their headstones and caskets. Leanne Barda had a hard time describing how her parents trusted Robert Kraft. They paid him for burial items, but after her father's death, Kraft didn't deliver. We would go to the cemetery, and there was nothing there, nothing showing where he was. Bob Smith told a similar story. He made arrangements for his mother in advance, but when she died, there was no casket. She was laying over there with nothing to put her in, so we had to, I had to pay another $2,500 out of pocket. Investigators say Kraft sold pre-need caskets, grave markers, and burial vaults, then failed to put the money into a trust account as required by law. Instead, he used it for his personal needs. My father worked two jobs. My father was making 53 cents an hour. My father worked very hard for the money that he had saved to buy those caskets. This gentleman has a Facebook page. He's been laying in pools. He's been going on trips. He knew what he was doing. In June, Kraft pleaded guilty to 20 felony counts he faced in Jefferson County. At his sentencing, he did not look at the victims or speak. Instead, his attorney read a statement. I'd like to apologize to all my clients and repay everything back as soon as possible. Public defender Aaron Duke said Kraft didn't intentionally prey on people during their times of need. Duke countered Kraft saw an opportunity for a business after the funeral home he was at closed. Problem was, Kraft wasn't a good businessman. This is poor money management that spiraled completely out of control. But the judge pointed out Kraft's repeated criminal activity in this case in denying probation. You had to form the intent to take this money uh, time after time after time. Now, Kraft's specific charges included theft, financial exploitation of a vulnerable adult, and failure to put money in a trust. Though he did get prison time, he will be eligible for shock probation. Reporting live outside the Judicial Center tonight, I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News. Thank you, Marissa. Now, Robert Kraft's charges came from an investigation by the Attorney General's office, which received numerous complaints about him. That also led to similar charges being filed against him in Clark County, Indiana. His cases there are still pending. Well,